Hola! Hola! Hi and welcome to Lightspeed Spanish. Here we've got something very, very special, very different today. Haven't mm -hmm. we, Cynthia? Yes, yeah. we do. Um, we have a guest with us today. One of the big questions that many people ask us is, is there much difference between the Spanish of Spain and the Spanish from other countries, other Spanish-speaking countries? And of course, yes, there are differences. Amongst many similarities, there are differences. So we have a guest today and his name is Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hello. And Jeff is from Mexico. And Jeff has his own channel on YouTube uh, and he helps people understand Mexican Spanish and also Mexican slang. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a comparison between the, the way that Spanish speakers talk about food and the way that Mexican people talk about food and also not just food, but in a bar, yeah? And Cynthia's gonna provide us with true Spanish Spanish, all the way Spanish from Spanish. Madrid in Spain. And Jeff is gonna supply us with either the same, that they do the same in, in Mexico, or the differences, okay? And perhaps with a little spot of um, slang in there as well. Okay, so you ready, Jeff? Here we go. First thing, going into a bar in Spain, pedir, una bebida o algo así, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, in Spain, typically, if you walk into a bar, Cynthia, what will you say to the barman, el camarero? You okay, want let's, to let's give present you a... I'm ordering a coffee. Okay, so in Spain, you're going to say... Me pone un café. Okay. In Mexico, they would say... Well, something that happens in Mexico, sometimes we might be a bit too polite. We most of the time say, por favor, which is please and we usually ask for things in the most polite way we find. Uh, in this case, for this expression, the word poner in Mexico sounds weird, like me pone un café. Usually we might use that if it's like for the, for the road, not to drink there. We would say me da. Would you give me, would you give me, me da un café por favor? Would you give me a coffee please? Me sirve un café por favor? Would you put coffee for me please? Okay, so that's the, the difference or the similarity in, <laughs> okay. in, in Mexico, okay. <laughs> now, okay, so me pone in Spain. Also then, when you're ready to pay, now I know we, we, we have the classic la cuenta por favor, mm -hmm. but in, in a bar situation where you're standing at the bar, you wouldn't necessarily ask for la cuenta. You would ask them to take payment. Mm -hmm. In Spain, how do you say that? Me cobra. Okay. In Mexico, they say... In Mexico, me cobra would work just fine. Something we would say, me cobra por favor. Also, we, something we often say is, ¿Cuánto va a ser? Which means, how much is it going to be? ¿Cuánto va a ser? Some people might even say, ¿Cuánto le debo? Literally, it's like, how much do I owe you? But we're asking for the, for the clerk to tell us how much is it going to be. Okay, great. So, in Spain, me cobra, and the way I used to remember that was I used to imagine that the barman was a cobra, snake. <laughs> and then that would be how I'd remember me cobra. It's nice and easy. Okay, now, um, if you're seated in the, in the cafe area, okay, so the waiter's coming over to the table, and you want him to bring you a drink, yeah, how would you ask in Spain can you bring me a drink? Can you bring me? Me trae. Me trae. Me trae una Coca-Cola. Okay. Por favor. Okay. And in Mexico, what would they say? We would use the verb traer to. Disculpe, podría traerme una Coca-Cola, por favor? Which is like, excuse me, would you bring a, co a Coke for me, please? Just as I said, we sometimes might make the sentence as longer, like, disculpe, podría traerme una Coca-Cola, por favor? A long sentence to show a lot of politeness. In Madrid, now I'm only going to talk about this region because it varies by region. You want to get the attention of the waiter. <laughs> Apart from doing that, that yeah, that one always works. Yeah, <laughs> straight over. Yes, madam. <laughs> okay, uh, you want to get the attention of the waiter. What are you going to shout in Did Spain? Disculpe. Mm -hmm. Another option? Perdone. Okay. Oiga, perdone. Okay, I notice you say, 
oiga perdone, not just oiga on its own. Mm, some people do, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Instead. Oiga disculpe, oiga perdone. Okay. Now, in Mexico, Jeff, what do you say? We could use the word disculpe. Perdone here would not sound, it's something we don't say very often. Uh, disculpe is more, more, we would say more often. We also would, might address the waiter by joven. Disculpe joven, like, excuse me, lad. <laughs> uh, sometimes we might simply raise our hand and say, mesero, like, waiter. Now, moving on to when you're ordering food. Uh -huh. Okay, um, and let's say that you you're going to say I I'm going to have the I don't know the paella or something like that. Yeah. So how would you say that to the waiter? Okay, you you can have different ways. Mm -hmm. You can say para mí una paella, or you can say yo voy a tomar una paella. Okay, okay. So para mí o voy a tomar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In Mexico, Jeff. How would you say that? Specifically here in Guadalajara, in my city, Guadalajara, uh, many people use the word querer a lot. So we would say, quiero una paella, like here, quiero unos tacos, por favor, quiero un pozole, por favor. Uh, we would also say, me trae, me trae por favor una, un, me trae por favor unas flautas y unas enchiladas, por favor. Uh, or we could also say, Para mí va a ser un, para mí va a ser unas enchiladas eh, suizas, por favor. Like for me, it's gonna be such and such. Right. Let's talk about something of interest, which, is, which I think is always fun. Spanish people. Okay. In Spain, they are constantly talking about food, and it's, and it's I find it fascinating, and and I like it a lot because you know. Why not get passionate about food? Just today, actually. Just today. Three men outside talking about cheese. In the street, three <laughs> the young, street. three young men. <laughs> we walk past, and one was saying, "Ah, no, the the best cheese is goat's cheese, not cow cheese." And they go, "Oh, but it's strong on the." And they're in the street. And they say, if in the UK, they'd be talking about alcohol or girls or drugs. No, cheese in Spain. Oh. Okay. Football. Fo okay. Or football, yeah. Okay. So, talking about good food. Cynthia, in Spain, if you really... Now, we'll talk formal first, then then informal. Uh -huh. You want to really say the food's good. What would you say? Esta comida está riquísima. Or you can say, esta comida está para morirse. Para morirse, riquísima. And notice that Cynthia's using esta, okay? Mm -hmm. Esta. And that's typically, that's the verb that's used in Spain when you're talking about food, food. in the moment, yeah? Yes. And that's when you can say... Está buena, ¿verdad? Está buena is tasty. It's good. tasty. Yeah. Es buena. That means it's good food, good quality food. Okay. All right. So, Jeff, in Mexico, you want to say the food's good? What do you say? Well, we are eating, we might say, oh, esto está delicioso. Like, this is delicious. Esto está muy rico, which means also, like, very good. Uh, also, we, we, would all, we could all say, ah, la comida está buenísima. Está muy buena, which is like, again, it's tasty, it's good. Uh, when we say es buena, like es buena, we also, we usually mean that it's good for you, for your health. Like, mm, es muy bueno para ti que comas um, piña. Yeah, just an example. A fun expression we have, we might say, está para chuparse los dedos. It literally means it's to, it's to lick at your fingers because it's like it's so delicious that while you're eating it you know like tacos or we eat them with the hands with our hands with our fingers so when we're eating them we might have uh, some food on our fingers so it's so delicious that we want to lick our, <laughs> our fingers to finish to continue eating that thing so para chuparse los dedos it's like to to eat it from your fingers <laughs> Cynthia I've also heard this expression which is huele que alimenta. Si, sí, yeah. correcto. What's that saying? That's just before you eat mm -hmm. and you smell, well, you can smell it from the kitchen. Uh -huh. You can say, mmm, smells so nicely. It's like, it smells it's really already nicely. filling me up or it's already... Okay, because I, I was imagining it smells like it, it could fill you up. 
Ajá, something sí. like that, yeah? Es como, mm, huele que alimenta. Okay, all right. In Mexico, for that kind of expression, what would you say? We don't have the exact same sort of expression, but we might say simply, huele delicioso, it smells delicious. Que rico huele, it smells very good. How, like, how good it smells. But uh, an expression that it might have like the same idea when we smell it, we would say, ya se me hizo agua la boca, which literally means uh, my mouth is watering, because, <laughs> you know, like when something is really delicious, you want to eat it, like you're, you get a lot of saliva in your mouth. So we say, se me hace agua la boca. And we could say like it happens from seeing it, from seeing it, or from smelling it. No más de leerlo se me hace agua la boca. 